Hey guys, it's Kaylee, and today I thought I would finally get around to doing the book sacrifice tag. I think this was one of the first booktube videos I ever watched. This is probably like one of the videos that got me into booktube. The first person I remember watching was Little Book Owl, but then I also watched Sasha Ellsberg's, and it was actually originally created by Ariel Vissette, so I'll leave a link to her video in the description. It's super old. It was done four years ago, but obviously I haven't been on booktube that long, so I never did it when it first happened and I always wanted to so today it is and basically there are four scenarios in which you have to choose to sacrifice a book pretty much in order to save your life so um I'm not going to spend too much time talking I'm just going to get into the scenarios into the books that I would choose to defend myself with and sacrifice and I do apologize if you hear like slurping sounds in the background my cat is busy bathing himself right next to my camera and sometimes he does not make the nicest sounds. But he's such a little cutie pet. It's okay. On to the questions. Let's start this off with the zombie apocalypse. Let's say you're in a bookstore just browsing when bam, zombie attack. An announcement comes over the PA system saying that the military has discovered that the zombie's only weakness is overhyped books. What book that everyone else says is amazing but you really hate it? Do you start chucking at the zombies knowing that it will count as an overhyped book and successfully wipe them out? I might get a bit of hate for this but The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. So I do feel like I need to put a disclaimer with this though. I didn't hate this book when I read it. I actually really loved it when I read it which is probably the only reason that it's still on my shelf just for that sense of nostalgia. But I am so over this kind of book and the hype that it generates. You know just these like overly intelligent quite pretentious teenagers who aren't really realistic and also are kind of how I was when I was a teenager but even worse and I look back at myself in horror so I look at books like this in horror and I'm just like teenagers should not be like this and I'm just really kind of over that whole thing. I'm pretty much over contemporary in general. Most really hyped contemporary I find is just a bit rubbish. Also one of the things that The Vault in Our Stars kind of makes me go Ugh, is it's inspired so many second-rate knockoffs that are just flooding the shelves of contemporary sections in the YA section of bookstores and that's what people want to read and it really annoys me and I know that that's not John Green's fault but still just looking back at this book and the rest of his books I'm just like why I'm not I can't I just I can't it's great that they get people reading but I just they're, they're not for me anymore I just I think that there are a lot of books out there that are much better written have better characters have better plot points and deserve the hype more so now that I finished making people hate me okay so zombie apocalypse averted Let's say you've just left the salon with a smashing new haircut, and boom, torrential downpour. What sequel are you willing to use as an umbrella to protect yourself? Can I just say though, how me is it to be like, yes, I've just successfully survived the zombie apocalypse. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get my hair done. I feel like this tag was made for me. And I am gonna go with the House of Night sequels. I really enjoyed the first book, and I kind of still also enjoyed the second book. I think I might have enjoyed the third book. But by the time I got to the fourth book, the storyline was being dragged out way too much, which is saying a lot because I was feeling that by the fourth book and I think there are like 12 of these books or something. I don't even know what number in the series this is. I bought it secondhand one day because I was like, oh, I'm collecting them, so let me just buy it. I've never even read it and it's on my unhaul pile because I just, I can't with the series anymore. They're not particularly good. Even the first two are not particularly good, but I still, like, I enjoyed them. I liked the premise a lot but I just feel like the storyline was really kind of just going in circles and nothing was being achieved and yeah, so I'm I'm done with these books. But scenario is a classic. Let's say you're in a lecture and your English teacher is going on and on about how this classic changed the world, how it revolutionized literature and you get so sick of it that you chuck the classic right at his face because you know what? This classic is stupid and it's worth detention just to show everyone how you feel. What classic did you chuck? Now, I have actually had this scenario. I didn't throw the book at my teacher's head because I actually quite liked her but in grade 10 we read The Merchant of Venice in my English class and I like Shakespeare, I do. We read Romeo and Juliet the year before, I loved it. We did Macbeth two years ago at university and I didn't actually finish it but what I did read I enjoyed but The Merchant of Venice I just found so boring and she kept saying what a good play it was. We're reading Shakespeare because he's such an important part of literature and I was just like Shakespeare has so many good plays and you are making us read this one and it is so so boring. So if I thought that detention was worth it and if I didn't actually like my teacher 
I, I probably would have chucked that book out of her face. Now we're getting to the big one, your least favourite book of life. Let's say that you're hanging out at the library when BAM, global warming explodes and the world outside becomes a frozen wasteland. You're trapped and your only chance for survival is to burn a book. What is the first book you've run to? your least favourite book of all time that you fully do not regret lighting. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. <laughs> I hated this book. I read it last year, I think. I should even have a review on my channel. And it was so bad. And the thing that really got to me was it started so well. And it wasn't poorly written. And it had a really good premise. Not even just it started well. Like, the storyline wasn't bad. I just couldn't stand the protagonist. And he was the narrator as well. So reading the book was such an awful experience for me because I was seeing everything through his eyes and he was so selfish and self-absorbed and annoying and it's a fourth wall break so he knows that there's someone reading what he's saying but he keeps saying like this is so dumb I don't know why you're still reading this and I'm just like you know what I don't know why I'm still reading this either but I finished it I hated it you can go see my thoughts on it but I would definitely burn me and Earl and the dying girl and also because it is a very overhyped book there should be a lot of copies in the, of it in the library and it'll keep me nice and toasty for a really long time so I'm, I'm, I'm good I'm good with that plan so that was the book sacrifice tag I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments what books you would sacrifice or if you've done this video sometime in the last four years because you're not super late onto every bandwagon like I am then leave me a link to your video also let me know in the comments if you're a booktuber who never gets tagged in things because I'm a booktuber who always does tags and never has anyone to tag so then we can work out a little buddy system where you know I can start tagging you in things and stop making it sound like I have no friends if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!